we're back again beauties and I have changed my hair because everything else is the same so I push my braided wig back and this is what we're rocking with so that you know that this is a different video so this one is more of a get ready with me and I wanted to do I don't know it just occurred to me that people don't do their makeup crazy like me like they just don't people seem to have like neutral natural glowy I was like all right let me do something simple I think it's impossible for me to get natural so my base is down my brows are done and I have the black opal soft velvet finishing powder down um, in copious amounts and I just applied that with a dry makeup sponge and the reason I did that is because again I'll be using a dark shadow today I'm going to use pigment blue brown by Mac and it look like this I went through a phase with my sister-in-law where we were obsessed with um, pigments and so we used to buy them and, and depot them like this and share them so yeah I'm just gonna take it back to that in the name of keeping it simple I'm gonna take a brown eyeshadow and I've got the Missy Lynn palette right here and my fluffy blending brush and I'm going in my crease with this up pretty high and then I'm gonna take my outlet primer so I typically would use this with my finger and pat it in whereby let me just show you and these pigments are really crazy so I would usually just go in the cover and just pat it in You guys know I have to go pretty high because I have hooded lids so I want to make sure it shows when I open my eye and you see how fast that that happens I literally just slapped it on there and that is what I will do in terms of eyeshadow the rest I guess is self-explanatory so I'm gonna just go ahead and let you guys enjoy this track by t -Von music of course enjoyed this video um, now for my usual spiel like this video if you like this video uh, click my face to subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications okay because if you don't YouTube will occasionally it says let you know when I upload but if you click the bell you'll always be notified 
and then hopefully I can see you in one of my other videos. I just did a review on this um, Fenty, oh my God, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And so this is what the foundation looks like with a full face of makeup. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. So I messed up my mascara, but I think it looks like a cute little beauty mark, so it's gonna stay, honey. All right, beauties, so I know I said bye, but I wanted to come back real quick since I kept my makeup on all this time to come back real quick and do like a wear test, kind of. Um, you know how my updates go at the end of the day. Everybody's home, they're making a ton of noise. I apologize in advance. So I wanted to show you how my foundation held up. And I did prime on color correct. But after 12 hours, this is significantly less than I have with um, pretty much all of the other foundations that I have worn. And I have my kids, they rub on your face, they touch you, everything, nothing is coming off. When I touch my, yeah, nothing is coming off when I touch my skin. So that is pretty amazing. And the part that I just touched, it just blotted. But you can see how I'm oily. The oil comes through. But I low-key think that that might be the beauty of it. Um, because you get that skin-like look when you still have coverage. I don't know. I'm thinking that I like this foundation. I'm going to wear it a couple more times and do it, you know, in a couple more videos. And kind of keep you guys posted the more I use it. This is only the first time. I wanted to save it and record a first impression, like, so bad. So I've had it for, like, two weeks because I've been working and not been able to film a first impression. But yeah, what if I blot here how it will look? <clears throat> I mean, there's so little color transfer. I'm wearing a white shirt and I took a nap. So, I mean, when you're sleeping and you're rubbing, it's not even coming off that much. Look at that, guys. If that was my Revlon, my whole shirt was going to be brown. I mean, that's it. Anyways, I just wanted to come back and show you. I don't have any separation, like, uh, right here. It's still all, the foundation is intact. Like, even in my creases and stuff. Probably if I use my Milk of Magnesia or, um, you know, when you do the powder first and then um, put your foundation on, it probably would have stopped me from from oiling through the makeup but I didn't do that step I didn't feel it was necessary anyways that's it all right later